Okay, people, remember how I said it was kind of hit, it was kind of missable when I so when I mentioned the artist proof? Well, let me get a regular card. There, we'll go with this uh, Nino Nitter, or no, this Alexander Vasunov. See how plain it is? Well, the first icebreaker we pulled, boom, see what I mean? Unless you're paying close attention, you're, you're going to miss. So our ice, this icebreaker of Magnus Pajarvi was our press proof. And I'll show you guys again. Yeah, see? Freaking missable, like, easily missable. Anyways, and get down to what you guys probably all came to see, this box of illusion. So, let me set this down real quick. And again, I know they're probably watching it, but thanks again for cutting me a deal on this. Yeah, there's our packs. We get 10 packs, right? 10 packs, 11, technically 11, we get this illusions. I guess we'll open this first. I mean, there's probably nothing spectacular about this, what's in here. Let me put this down so I can clean rip it. Ah, and I already screwed up the rip. That's okay, well, make amends. JJ Watt with Mario Williams. Ooh, you got a good player with the bomb. That's numbered uh, 100, I believe. Yeah, 57 out of 100. I guess that's kind of cool and kind of not, but we'll just slip that back in there and leave it like that. That way it doesn't get ruined. Okay. I'm pushing these down, this first uh, stack looks like it's promising. I guess we're going to get a hit out of the first pack then, huh? These are heavy. This is heavy for this stack of cards. There's something right there. That's a decoy! Didn't know they had decoys in this stuff. Wow, they're thick stock too. I think I heard somebody say one time that these look like a uh, flare showcase, and they kind of do. Look at that. That's sick. Ronnie Lawton, Navarro Bowman. But look how thick they are. That's what I would say, consider as, uh, how do I say, premium. I would consider something like this super premium. Oh, we got one of those. This is Josh, Jordan Matthews, and Andre Reed. That's sweet. We got one of those acetate cards right off the bat. Acetate rookie card. Mike Williams, who doesn't want to leave me the hell alone. Too bad it's not numbered. It's still kind of cool. Yeah, not numbered. Get an Ezekiel Elliott and Emmett Smith. Highly doubtable that that's actually one thing. Emmett Smith wasn't accused of anything stupid in his career. Terrell Suggs and Murderer, again, he wasn't accused of anything stupid in his career that I know of. Decoy or something's good coming out of here? Oh, we get an autograph. Ah, it's not a... And it's not a bad one, but it's not a very good one. It's not somebody I would give a shit about because I think the Bears suck. Hey, that's a cool one. Too bad Alex Smith isn't as good as Joe Montana, though, but that is a sweet card. Jamie Collins and uh, Pepper Johnson. Pepper Johnson's a bum. Why would they compare him? Pepper Johnson didn't even make it in the NFL. Not that I remember. Rookie endorsements. One of five. Tarek Cohen. Somebody keeps pulling Tarek Cohen autographs and it's rubbing off on me. Leave it to me to get bum autographs. Yeah, I don't really care much. I don't think he's that great. Keanu, Neal, and Deion Sanders. Latavius Murray and Adrian Peterson. Yeah, if you want to be compared to some guy who was really never all that good. Thick. Thick pack. Or more decoys. No, oh, there's a hit in here. Uh, Jim Brown, Isaac Crowell. Actually, I don't think Crowell's going to be anything as good as Jim Brown. Marshawn Lynch and Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson wasn't a jack-off. Hey, that's kind of sweet. Too bad I hate one of the teams that's on here. But uh, Seahawks, Kenny uh, Mara Darbo, and Kenny Galladay from the Lions. 57 out of 100. 
That's kind of cool. Too bad, you know how they have it all foil like that? They should do the same on the back of the card. Don't make the card look plain. Jerry Macklin and Steve Smith Sr. Julio Jones and Andre Ryzen. Andre Ryzen was a sweet player. Okay, I'm going to set this down because I have not got a clean rip on one of these packs yet. Perfect, we got one. Looks like our next hit, possibly. Nope, a decoy. Got another uh, acetate card, though. Chris Ivory and Fred Taylor. Uh, if I remember correctly, Ivory got released. I don't know, I think he got released. Jordan Howard and Gail Sayers. Not even close comparison. Jordan Howard won't amount to anything. Uh, we get this. Why do, why do we keep getting cool stuff with this murderer guy? I hate that guy. Don't care for the murderer. Leave him out of my cards. You're kidding, right? Andy Dalton and Ken Anderson? One of them went to a Super Bowl. Can you guess who? I'm thinking Ken Anderson. Dalton ain't going anywhere. He hasn't even won a playoff game. It took him four game playoff games to throw a freaking touchdown pass. Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. Yeah, it kind of looks like a fair comparison. Okay. That's it for this side. So, despite the fact that the, the first side was thicker, it wasn't better. We still have uh, an autograph, another memorabilia, and a mem auto, auto mem card to go, I believe. It's supposed to be five hits per box. Yeah, if it wasn't for me losing Eli's contest, I would have never taken a stab at this box. Because I wanted Origins, and Origins would have been a really, really bland break. Jim Plunkett, Derek Carr? Not even close. I think he's more comparable to his brother Carson. Er... No, his brother David. Watch, I, I, I believe that's going to be correct. Max Singletary and Leonard Floyd. Joey Bosa, clear your shots. You can see acetate, you can see in the back. Too bad these aren't numbered though. That's the bad thing about them, they're not numbered. They look cool and all, it's just not numbered. Eli Manning and Phil Sims. Jared Goff and Kurt Warner. Actually, his story isn't nearly as good as the uh, the former grocery bagger's story is. That one looks super thick, the front of the first one. Let me set this down, that way I don't screw it up by... Yeah, that one's kind of thick. And it is something thick. It's a hit. Matthew Stafford and uh, Bobby Lane, are you kidding me? We're comparing. Well, he's got he has had a good career, it's just he hasn't really gone anywhere other than stats. Josh McCown and Joe Namath. I'm not too sure about that. Whoa, 10 of 50. I actually like this dude's autograph. Too bad it's not one that I would actually care for, but he's got the best autograph out of everybody as far as I'm concerned. 10 of 50, Taewon Taylor. Like the guy who probably won't go anywhere. But that's not bad. Todd Gurley and Marshall Falk. Not even close, I don't think. You gotta run, you gotta have four straight seasons of 1,000 receiving and 1,000 rushing to be comparable to Marshall Falk. Dickie Woods and Jeremy Hill. Again, one of them went to a Super Bowl, the other didn't even, hasn't even got, came close to winning a playoff game. Another acetate card. Devontae Adams and Sterling Sharp. Jamal Charles and Terrell Davis. Yeah, if you want to end up injured after seven seasons like Terrell Davis was, I guess that's a good comparison. And out of the league. Living Legends Julius Peppers. He's the last person, if I remember correctly, he's the last person from the 2002 draft that's still in the NFL. 
Jason Witten, Jay Novacek. Actually, he's better than Jay Novacek. Cam Newton and Julius Peppers. We're looking for another auto and another mem card, I believe. We get Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. Well, they both have one Super Bowl, but one of them went to two Super Bowls. Kevin Benjamin and Steve Smith. Didn't Steve Smith already get compared with someone else? Hmm. Amari Cooper and uh, it's one of the it's an Aztec card illusionists. Cool. Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden. Stefan Diggs. Randy Moss. Not even sure that's even comparable either. Diggs is good, but Moss was better. I believe this is our last mem card. Feels heavy. Yep, it is heavy. Another bum who keeps on haunting me too. Getting tired of these Tampa Bay Buccaneer bastards. Von Miller and Steve Atwater. DeMarco Murray and Eddie George. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't seen one numbered card in all this except for hits. Here is, yeah, Chris Godwin. Who cares? That's not even numbered. Who cares? Uh, there's a Brian Hoyer and a Steve Young. Yeah, right. I mean, I don't like Steve Young, but Brian Hoyer? Uh-huh. Khalil Mack and Howie Long. That might be a decent comparison. Final hit is a player that my brother would want. I don't think it's that great, but it's something my brother would probably want. Blake Bortles, Mark Brunel. It wasn't a very good box as far as I'm concerned. David Johnson and Chris Johnson. Our last autograph is going to be 54 out of 150, uh, Cameron Sutton. Isn't he the dude who talked a lot of shit about referees and stuff like that? If it is, hmm. I like I like the I like the way he talked. If I'm not mistaken, that's who he was. Tory Holt and Sammy Watkins. Jordy Nelson and Desmond Howard. Not even close. Desmond was a Desmond was a return guy. He was most noted for return man, not a receiver like him. Anyways, unless I did unless I made a mistake and didn't catch on, I didn't see one freaking numbered card except for hits. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys later.